GPT-3? GPT-3? What the hell is GPT-3? GPT-3 is a product created by privately held company OpenAI in San Francisco. And GPT-3 is essentially the most advanced natural language processing model or a giant neural network that analyzed all human created text on the internet up until 2019 to figure out the relationship between different words. The way GPT-3 works is that you type some text into the console, it recognizes the patterns, it tries to understand what is it exactly that you asked this AI and then it outputs a text for you. This is the general way of how GPT-3 works, but the coolest part is that this API that OpenAI released is so generic that you could use this machine learning model for any type of applications. And so what I'm gonna do for this video is I'm gonna go around and ask a bunch of tech entrepreneurs that I actually happen to live with here in Mexico right now, and I'm gonna ask them about some applications of GPT-3 that they think would be cool, and then and see if they have actually been developed. What do you think would be cool with GPT-3? Um, a scientific research simplification platform that would make it easy for people who don't know science to understand science. Something that would be cool is an Excel function that just does everything. Just put it in and it answers whatever question you have, whatever you need to complete in the table, it just does it. Imagine opening up your email inbox and all of your messages for the day are already pre-drafted for you. Figma is really hard to use. Uh, I'm not a really great designer. Uh, GPT-3, imagine if you could uh, just type up the user, the user experience that you want and it just automatically generates the UI for you. If this is your favorite application of GPT-3, smash that like button and consider subscribing to this channel. I really, really appreciate your support. Wouldn't it be cool if GPT-3 could write my React components? Or you can use GPT-3 to get book recommendations. There's one thing that I want you to take away from this video besides the fact that machine learning and AI has gotten super advanced and it's this. We generally have thought that human beings are so creative and only a generic AI, a super advanced machine learning algorithm can truly replace human work. But the unfortunate reality is that despite the fact that GPT-3 is not an extremely complicated machine learning model, the output that it creates is truly impressive and it makes us realize that 90% of the work that we do is quite boilerplate and is quite repetitive. The emails that we write, the marketing copies that we create, the blog posts that we write, it's all kind of just a bunch of remixes of stuff that has already been created and already exists on the internet. And the takeaway that I want you to have out of this is that you should truly try to spend your time being creative and pushing your minds to do something new, to do something innovative and try to think about how you can hone in your skills in such a way that GPT-3 or or another or another advanced machine learning model that I'm sure is coming out soon and will keep getting better is not gonna replace what you do. Overall, this machine learning model is pretty gimmicky but very powerful and impressive. Uh, to get access to it, you have to go to OpenAI's website and fill out a form explaining why you want to try it out because the model is actually still in private beta. I went ahead and did that yesterday and I have a couple of ideas for what would be cool to do with GPT-3. One idea is to have GPT-3 write a video script for me and then create that video and see how it turns out. If you're interested to see this happen, comment in the section down below or suggest other ideas for what would be cool to create with GPT-3. So, you know, if I end up having access to it, I would love to play around and make something cool. But thank you so much for watching this video. As always, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. AI is there. AI is super powerful. Have a wonderful day. Please consider subscribing to this channel and bye for now.